I have been thinking about this possibility after the announcement of the Batman being delayed a year. And I pose this question to you, Brian. If Superman is fantastic, Brian, then people are gonna be looking forward to what? Brave and the Bold even more. If the hype for that movie gets big, do you care, Brian, with what goes on with the Batman? Because you know we just getting a trilogy, but with the Brave and the Bold, Brian, let's just put it out there. Alan Richardson is going to get that role. Alan Richardson is getting that role. And who knows if Timothy Chalamet throws his hat in there. Brian, does it put pressure or does it bring about the possibility of the Batman not happening? I mean, Brian, if we get that announcement that Alan Richardson is Batman, there's nothing else to talk about here, man. Yeah, that's the, the dream. The Alan Richardson, Timothy Chalamet, Brave and the Bold. Um, yeah, that would be pretty. That would be pretty awesome. And like I said, I'm not convinced Andy Muschietti will, will be the director on that. We'll no, see. No, not me neither. <clears throat> so the delay, Matt Reeves' Batman Part Two being delayed. I'm, I'm obviously disappointed. I mean, I think there was this table set for DC to maybe have this Batman Superman 1-2 one, one, punch in 2025. But, you know, we went through the calendar with everyone. And we knew 2025 projects, some of them were going to not make it to their, to their starting line. They were going to have to back off into 2026. And... The Batman <clears throat> is one of the first projects to confirm that they'll be doing so. They're officially attributing it to the strikes. I mean, quite honestly, everything will be attributable to the strikes for a while. Um, but we know that Matt Reeves is a particular worker. That's, that's the, to me, is the real thing, right? I mean, he, he's a guy who, you know, does a lot of takes. He spends a lot of time on the craft. And, like, he's not going to move on this until he's ready. I and mean, that's kind of, I think it's honestly, Gunn and Saffron have committed to this idea of Elseworlds versus canon. And I think until the audience completely rejects the idea, they're going to do it. Right now, their two Elseworlds projects are big box office winners, right? And Joker and the Batman. Now, you're right. There's not a competing Joker project right now. But yeah, I mean, if the audience shows up for Batman Part 2 and the audience shows up for Batman Brave and the Bold, which is basically code for they showed up for Superman, then yeah, I think, I think they'll keep going with it. The one thing that I think helps this project is the penguin tv show that is a unique element to this experiment because it is such a continuum in the timeline and we've gotten a lot of smoke that pattinson is in the series or in a small supporting role that he was seen on set toward the end of that shoot and if hmm. that's the case i think that could keep the Reeves Batman machine moving okay. Yes, I do agree with that. If yes. that show is as good as we hope it can be. Yeah. And that's something Brave and the Bold won't have, right? Brave and the Bold will exist in the canon, but will not have like a lead in tie in TV show. Interesting. Brian, the, uh, we just got an announcement. And when I heard it, Brian, I was like, what? Again? You know, I, I, I've had enough of Titans. The Titans, the, anima the animation was dope. Then we got Teen Titans. Then the the, the Titans on the, the Mac show. What was your reaction to that announcement? My reaction is it felt a little bit like we're aiming at the demographics and we want to beat Young Avengers to the line. That's what it felt like to me. I don't know. What you, I don't know if you had any of that that sort of alarm radar going off, but that's what it felt like to me. It's like I agree okay. with you. I feel like we have seen these characters in animated form, in live action TV form already. There obviously won't be any association with those iterations with, with this one. Mm -hmm. But this one felt like, a, hey, we want to have something where the, the leads are young, generally younger. It is a team up. It's kind of our answer to Young Avengers, but we can get there first with Marvel's house in disarray. Like my excitement level was kind of mid for this, to be honest. Yeah, and I, I was just like, I'm... <laughs> How many, how many team, how many, how many be telling of this story we're going to see, man? I've already seen it all, pretty much. You'd have yeah. to already give me something already established and is something a new, but I don't want to see the, 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 the team coming together again. If you're going to, if you're going to get me interested, you're going to have to do something way different. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to create the bull case, it would be that because again, James Gunn has said this is sort of a writer's room driven universe. It's that someone had that, someone had that take. Someone came to them or was in the room and said, I, I have this idea for Teen Titans. And they kind of heard it, dropped everything and said, we have to have this in chapter one. 
because to me this doesn't strike me as a must have for this chapter one of the uh, of the universe but clearly James Gunn felt different because this wasn't on the original itinerary if you will and now they've kind of confirmed it's happening if he's doing what he said he was going to do we can sort of rule out the idea that it was an actor picking up the phone calling him and saying I want to be Nightwing right like that's that would be completely opposite to what he said he's trying to do there. Maybe it could be a director who's also a writer saying like, this is my take and I want to do this. And he's like, all right, I'll, 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 you know, let's, let's green light it. But that in theory would be the only way this would happen. It, yeah. it shouldn't just be like Gunn and Saffron sitting there looking at the board being like, we need a we need a young heroes movie. Let's do this. Yeah, it yeah, had yeah. to have, Absolutely. yeah, right. It should, in the theory, whole... if he's being honest, it had to have come from an idea. Yes. If it came from an idea, then okay, let's see. But right now, I'm, not, I'm still not excited because you never know if that is the case that they're trying to beat Young Avengers, which would be an, uh, an atrocity if they, if they if that was the goal. I, so I, that's the thing where I'm sort of like a little cynical that this was purely an idea because we know Kevin really wants that Young Avengers thing to happen. We also know that there's a lot of hurdles right now and Marvel's slowing down. So like... You know, if you were DC or if you were a Warner Brothers executive not named Gunn or Saffron, yeah. If you're Zaslav, like, would you potentially have a conversation and saying, hey, can we can we steal their thunder and get that kind of audience first? Like, yeah, I'm sure that conversation has been had. And that's what makes me wonder, was it really from an idea or was it really from them looking at Marvel and Disarray and saying, we can, we have the characters in our library to do that. I don't know why Kevin keep, continues to push this Young Avengers, man, because quite honestly, Brian, I don't give a f this Young Avengers, the animated movie that they did was dope. I liked it. You remember that? Yeah, no, that's the thing. Again, it's it's the right you gotta find the right medium for your projects, right? Like Young Avengers mm -hmm. doesn't feel like a, a box office event to me. It yeah, feels like a TV right. show. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this delay. If we get an Adam Richardson, I don't care about anything else. So I want both. I want both. After Chalamet publicly opened the door and said he was not necessarily going to follow DiCaprio's advice and that if the right script and right project presented itself, he would consider a super... Listen, I, you, guys, you guys can say whatever you want. I, if, you, if you headline a Wonka project and a Doom project and you walk out of there with like one and a half, one and a six, six billion dollar gross and a Best Picture nomination, you can headline my comic book movie. Yeah. And have it. Oh man, you could just see. Oh man, you could just see Adam Rich and talking about. Oh man, and they're you like twenty see. years apart in real life. It's perfect. Yeah. By the time you shoot yeah. this movie, you have a forty-five-year-old yeah. Richin and like a twenty-six, twenty-seven-year-old Chalamet. Make it happen. Get the right director to get them in the room and to make it happen. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this delay of the possibilities. The Brave and the Bold movie does it overshadow what? Matt Reeves is trying to do with the Batman 2. I mean, also, yeah, I, when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about the Penguin, the, the Penguin. To me, Brian, the Penguin is like, they saw Colin Farrell and they say, yo, we just gotta do this. Cause this dude is amazing. I remember in the Batman, Brian, the first film when they're playing pool and Bruce Wayne goes to see him, goes to see uh, Falcone. And I know this wasn't in the script, yo. <clears throat> Colin Farrell, hey slick. So when he said something to the, he said something to that effect. What you doing here? You know what I'm saying? And it just like it's just natural. Colin Farrell is an amazing actor, man. And I think this penguin could be something special. Yeah, I agree. Your, coming, la your last thoughts on the penguin? Yeah, coming. When is supposed to come, what, when next, is it supposed to come within on? the next three months. David okay. Zaslav said it's coming in the next quarter, so that would be basically by the summer we should see this. And we should, when do you think, expect the trailer next month? Yeah, I think within the next few weeks. I would think within the next few weeks, you'll see a, you'll see a trailer for it. I mean, the idea of like a, pen, a penguin-centric crime drama in Gotham with Batman as a perif Batman and Gordon as peripheral characters. Like, come on, that, that yeah. can work with what yeah. we've established in the movie. No, most definitely, most definitely. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!